Hey, good morning, everybody. This is The Professor with Day Trading for Success. So we're back again today to trade coin. This is the um, last day uh, before the three-day weekend. So Happy New Year, everybody. And we have basically the same. We made a couple adjustments. We're, we've lost a couple of people. We have 28 today. Um, and we, like I said, we'll be trading coin. Everybody here has $25,000 in their account, so they can margin up to 100000 So we'll be trading 500 shares of coin today using the RV strategy starting right around a half hour after the market opens the New York Stock Exchange around 10 o'clock. Please read this um, disclaimer. I am not a licensed financial advisor. This is just strictly an entertainment channel showing you different ways to trade. If everything went your way, how much money could you make trading certain strategies if you're able to call them correctly? So that's what we are. Um, and you need to seek the advice of somebody you trust before you try to do any of this stuff that you see here. And I say trade in a simulator for quite a few months on any strategy that you try and make sure you're green before you use real money and then only trade with money you can afford to lose. So hopefully you've read that. So here's what's considered to be the perfect one minute layout. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> Some may disagree, I suppose, but we use it. So this is basically a one-minute chart, a five-minute chart. There's a bunch of screen management charts down here, another five-minute, a daily down here. I'm going to go over how I use those. This is a 15-minute level two, and then the active trader. I took a little tiny trade a second ago. I was checking the reckon how fast this was reconciling between the different histograms, candlestick uh patterns and the level two and the time and sales so everything they seem to think or swim seems to be doing a good job so what is the rv strategy it's a range bound strategy right so we find the range first and then within that range which will mark high and low of the range then we try to create channels where the stock has turned around before pivot points so we're just basically creating levels where the wick or the body of the candles has turned around before in this case we're doing it by day daily chart pivot points usually the rv strategy is using four hour one hour 15 minutes and even five minute pivot points because um, RV strategy is really a large cap, $25 billion minimum uh, market cap and a $1 billion minimum float that is consolidating you know, ac across the market that is very easy to predict its up and down moves. So the ATR, the average true range over a 14-day period, is where we create our range. And then in there, we're looking for where the candlesticks, wicks, and bodies have stopped and gone the other direction for some reason. So you, there's all kinds of debate on who, how many shares are making that happen, what big companies are, you know, who's doing that um, collectively. But it stands the reason that you, you want to mark those out because most likely a lot of those, it, the, it's, it's going to happen again. There's a lot of action around that. I also have the intraday volume profile in here. And this is pointing out to you the point of control, which I call the magnet, where most of the price action is happening. You know, the volume price action is right in here. So you're, this is like the mean center of that. It will leave that, but you look at it like it's always drawing back to it. So you mark the ATRs. And uh, where do I have? There's an ATR high right there, kind of a day pivot lines going over it. So I used all day pivot lines to mark this, not four hour, because the way the stock was going straight up, like it's been going straight up for many days, um, you really you can get a day the day before sometimes to mark some pivot points. But if you want long term pivot points, you've got to go much further back um, to get it. Here's some closer ones on the day here. Um, and then the other thing that we mark is the um, – this is interesting why that those are right there. So that's not a day high or low. seems almost like that's a weird glitch happening right there. But anyway, um, <clears throat> let's make sure there's nothing wrong. Okay, I don't think so. You mark the Fibonacci on a five-minute uh, chart 10 days back. Low to high here, always left to right on Fibonacci. And you're trying to catch some of those channels. Those are the yellow lines within the ATR, high and low. It's up here. So you've got one, and that's it, right? And then the other Fibonacci you set up is on a five-minute chart for a two-day. So uh, let's see where that is. Hmm. Yeah, that's technically the low. I, I actually marked it on the open session instead of that. 
Um, so there's some question because I did go to the, the high there. And if I wanted to keep with what I was doing, I should have gone to the open session. So the gray is the aftermarket. The, the black is the open session. Um, but I, I marked it that way where the other high was. Um, but technically, it's probably off a little because I just realized I didn't pull the screen over far enough when I marked this. So these are probably a little bit different. But anyway, you mark the two-day, you mark the 10-day on a five-minute chart, and you're creating channels, all right, within the ATR. Now, when you trade on a one-minute chart, those channels, you might, all those lines look crazy to your thinking. But really, when you get into trading, they're not in your way, and they offer you support and resistance points that really help you along with the other things that you're looking for, like perfect alignment between the five-minute and the one-minute chart, for instance. Wow, this is really making a move down too, huh, today? So we still have about eight minutes. It has broken the ATR, so um, this does not look like it's going to be an RV strategy today if this keeps doing what it's doing. It's pivoting on this day. So I'm going to be calling the ball for the traders here today uh, or quarterbacking, but they all take their own trades. So I'm starting to talk to them as I'm talking to the uh, viewers and subscribers Um at what I'm looking at for so everybody can prepare. Yesterday I did go in early and I went in early off the bounce of the ATR. That is already through here. But if it starts to come back up and break through or bounce out, we may go in early, guys. So I remember I didn't I didn't announce it yesterday, so I wanted to make sure I'm announcing it today. Um so everything's working over here, right? I can't see my uh don't have a helper over here this morning. Not yet anyway. She's not here yet. So um, so yeah, uh, so that was ge generally you want to get look for the custom scripts on this channel. Everything's free DTS day trading for success, success, custom scripts. This is the scalpers indicator. You know, you're going to want to get this, uh, right away onto your platform. This, this shows the sellers in red, the buyers in green. This is the volume. This is the percentage. It's literally telling you when to take a trade. So this is what has changed the lives of many traders. So you're going to want to think about that. I think I, I don't know if I went into the quite the most um, commonly asked question, which was um, what you know what turn when 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 did you start making money? When should I expect to start turning a profit? When you know how long does it take? That's a very common question. And that could be from one to three years or even longer for it depends on the person or who you're teaching or how much time you're putting into doing it. I know that the students told me that we had a video about the 30 students here, um, why they thought they turned the corner. And we've had so many videos since then is that they watched every single video on this channel. And yes, I do want you to watch every single video. I'm biased, of course. But there's something to be said for that, for the cumulative information that you get. And when you're first watching something, you're only getting a, a low percentage of you know intaking it. So watching it, things over and over, you learn more and more and more. And I try to cover it for new people like they only watch one episode. I'm almost starting new every time. I love the fact that the book came out, Day Trading, uh, volume one because it really covers the rv strategy exactly how to trade it exactly how to set it up and it has the rating system for the stock so that's a must get if you want to trade the open strategy which is the other strategy we trade the first book the million dollar margin club put out was um trading journal logbook it's like a brown leather looking book and it has the open strategy criteria so don't get fooled by there's a lot of journal log but but this one has the criteria for the open strategy and it's only like 12 bucks and that's on amazon as well as day trading volume one so there's my plug for the million dollar margin club but uh, they save me a lot of time explaining every one of these strategies every day but yeah so so the turning point is really and we have about four minutes guys um is um let's see on this atr because if this is going to bounce off here Let's see what we're going to do here. Um, but anyway, the the you got to keep at it. And it, it's not the same time for each person. And most people have full-time jobs. So, you know, how much time can you dedicate? And what, what are you filling your brain with? Stuff so you can pay the rent every week, right? So it's hard to start something new, 
you know, why you've got a full-time job and life going on that's distracting from you. So it's great that all these different YouTube channels exist and you can watch all these strategies or go to sleep listening to the strategies. I've, I've heard, you know, people do that a lot or, you know, get read the books on the weekend or, do, or, or just binge watch on the weekends. But I think it just comes down to how much you watch, taking notes, back testing, and then trading in a sim, and then eventually it's going to click. I know it did for me that way because I didn't, I wasn't a scalper originally. I started with long-term trading and just checking it, you know, once a week or something and then got into swing. And then I would, that was very exciting. Oh my God, I, I, I checked it every day or two, you know, just like, and then day trading where I definitely checked it throughout just the day and then finally scalping where I trade like a half hour to an hour and that's it. And that, and, and you know, that's about as fast as you can get. Um, the one minute chart is usually is the most stress any trader wants, but they they do have 10 second charts. They have one second charts, you know, so I know that I've seen some traders online use 10 second charts. I mean, you know, it, it seems it's almost like you just the, I don't know the people who trade five minutes say they could never trade one minute and I trade a one minute and I say I could never trade a 10 second. I have tried on Lightspeed doing that and um, with the other not with the not with their. Uh, platform but i used uh oh, i can't think of the platform i use over there but anyway uh e-signal maybe that's what it is i think yeah and they have 10 second charts somebody's going to correct me if i'm wrong but i think it's e-signal that has the 10 second charts but anyway um so guys we are just a minute and a half away and it just seems to be channeling here between these two days below the ATR. It's not committing. Now, if we were going strictly by the escalator strategy, this is our second breakthrough here then again. And this is technically a retest. I mean, when you watch this, um, this is telling me it's going to go on a trend, on a downward trend, because this is the escalator strategy retest but it's breaking above it. So if it goes up into it, then we're back to trading the RV strategy and using all these pivot lines. If we go below, we can still use the pivot lines on the escalator strategy. Um, it's usually you go back, wow, look at that. You go back way further to do that. So to me, I'm inclined to, to go long here just because it's doing this ping pong thing. So I'm trying to catch long, short, long, short. Long, until it breaks out of here, I would go long right here. So we have roughly 20 seconds and i'm looking at long to buy 500 shares everybody's trading the same thing so that's at 33 50 the market maker's giving me a 30 or 43 here we have 10 seconds let's see what's going to happen here 50 40 there's three seconds left we're going i'm going to go in now what did i get it at i got it at 49 to try to get the bounce up and then i will reverse at the top for uh at 87 80 well maybe 88 50 let's see what happens here let's just try to get some little scalps here until this thing makes a move guys that's uh that's all we can do at this point so uh it may be gonna break through this atr again oh it's going it's going down through that that's going down the wrong way on that day so uh we may have to reverse going down. You know, it did drop quite a quite a ways here. It just looked like it was going to go right up to me. So everybody takes their own trades, obviously. I don't want to be responsible for it. I'm just calling what I see here every day when I trade with a group. Um, yeah, I'm not liking the look of this. It looks like it's going to fade off that day, and it might be starting to work this channel. So it's just very, very young in the... Uh, in, the, in our trading thing to get too caught up in any in a bad trade or good trade and, and make any quick decisions here so yeah but if this if this fades off and closes down here i am going to reverse i'm waiting to see if it recovers i'd like to see it bounce off of here and then i'd reverse going down or even break the atr i would definitely reverse at the atr if it comes back up here but it might just pound here and drop and then i'm just going to take a lesser lot you know losses Try to make it move as quick, you know, as fast as I can there to lose less money if I've called this wrong. Uh, scalpers indicator is really strong on buyers for the minute. Well, it's fighting. No, it's, it's, man, it looks like it's going down, guys. But last one was buyer strong. I mean, uh, seller strong. So 
That's not making me feel good. So 26 is below this day. This is what the market maker is going to give me right there. There it goes. There it goes. Okay, so 64, 58, 47 on the market maker, 46, 58. I'm looking in the like 70s I'd like to see. Is it going to go up there? 58, 59, 40. Yeah, it's just not going up. That could be its move. 49. I don't want to ride it back down again. 70. Oh, oh what did I get? Don't it draw? 71. That wasn't too bad. All right. So now I'm short 84.71. I'm going to reverse again there, guys. I'm long again. Looking for it to go back up one more time. 50, I'm at 53. I'm pretty much even money here. One more pound up there would be good for me. I'll take that. So 205, I'm short at 184.59. Oh, I should have hung a little longer there. But there is like a 15 cent to 20 cent. So this is what we call really baby scalping. I'm just trying to get something in the channel, and it's not completing the channel. So that's, again, another sign it's going to fall off. So... Um, I'm gonna take that right there. <laughs> I'm gonna take that. That was an easy, that was an easy win there for me. So I was actually looking at you guys, and I looked back like, hey, that's more money than we've had yet on one of these. So now it could drop off. So I've got to watch out here. Uh, so we're looking for it to go back up here, or to the. Uh, this is where I want to reverse in this area up here. Or if it fades, I've got a nice cushion now, and I'll just drop out. I probably won't ride it all the way down to the 62, uh, 80, 83, 62. I don't think I'll go that far down. That's a whole, almost a whole dollar. So, um, wow, huh? That is that was very tempting to take. I just I just don't want to like get out prematurely. So this is a great trade anywhere in here. It was better a second ago. There's 65, but it did go all the way up to like 80 last time and I jumped out. There's 80, 85. Darn, I couldn't catch that. That was a little too quick. Market makers 80. Wow. Okay, one more time in the 80s and I'm gonna grab it. Whoa! That was 90. What did I get that at? 84. That was a slip. So now let's see if it's going to break back into the ATR. So that's 700 bucks the hard way. <laughs> and that really was not. Uh, um. So now I'm short 184.84. And I'm literally playing this channel. So guys, this is what the RV strategy is about, is you play a channel. So it's not perfect because it's dropping out here. But up here, it's really tight. It's really tight. And you've got this back up here, this ATR, which are very, very highly respected. Uh, they're not just by happenstance set up. You saw me. Uh, no, I guess I calculated it before I, uh, you guys saw it. But, um, you know, there is a formula you use to, to set this up. I think I showed you what it was. Um, but basically, you take the close of the previous day and then the ATR rating. You divide the ATR rating over a 14-day period in half. You subtract half of it from the close to get the ATR low, and you add half of it from the close to get the ATR high. Now this is a bad trade. So now it seems like it might be trying to, I have to determine how far I want to let this go up here before I get out or reverse. Let me just take a couple of, it's already past there. This just seems more like, this one right here seems more like the general area. Oh, I still got that set for the ATR. Uh, My mouse is not working very well over here. What happened? Why I wasn't watching? Okay, it stayed about the same. So I'm looking for that general, like the 85 and a quarter, 185 and a quarter as a as an area where I should call it and go the other direction. Um, 
I'm just basing that on a couple of taps. It almost tapped it here. It looks like it was kind of in this general area over here as well. And then here it turned around and at 25 cents a quarter dollars often. That's not a real strong reason, but I'm going the wrong way. So I have to change my uh, stripes if it keeps going the wrong way. Luckily, I got a nice cushion to ride it. You know, so I have down a $750 max loss per trade, which is even more than my share size. So it just depends on what I, I thought the action was going to be. Um, I didn't think I was going to be consolidating so much. This is actually perfect RV strategy trading is you just sit here and you do these scalps and you scalp out two, three, five thousand dollars $5,000 just catching these over a half hour to 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Not real stressful, especially if you start being a little ahead. Um, if you call three in a row wrong, then you need to start thinking about um, nice. So we'll look to reverse off the bottom again. Maybe we'll let it go a little further this time. Okay. Everybody's nice and green. There's somebody just going green and red, green and red. So the 50 bucks green, 50 bucks red. Um, must have been a tough opening for you. Yeah, I should have snagged it right there. I mean, when it doesn't go all the way down, that signifies it's going it's going to turn around and go long again. But you've got this ATR right here, which is a really strong ceiling, along with a fib here. And it looks like there's a day there, too. You got a day, a fib, and the ATR. Talk about resistance. This is a serious resistance. That's why I can't really break through it. Um, there's too many people that don't want it to go, their actions going the other way here. They don't want it to go up. So uh, they're trying to push it down, a whole bunch of people that we don't know who they are. Remember, at the end of every trade, somebody else, if you win, somebody else loses. If you lose, somebody else wins. So there's that battle all the time. Realizing that, wow, okay, so now, okay, so what was the strength of that? So that's still very, so the seller, wow, the volume went down, but... The volume went way down, but look at the percentage here. Now it's going up with the, yeah, so I'm not going to jump out quite yet. So that's a great trade, but it's the it's the strength of that candle that does not make me want to reverse. Look at that. Look at this here. Look at the percentage here. And look at the volume passing now. Now it's coming up. It's still got a little bit ways before it closes. So uh, look at how much more volume has dropped in on this candle compared to that candle. So something's going on right now. There's a lot of action. A lot of people are shorting the stock right now. So we're going to hold, guys. You should hold, in my opinion. We have another day pivot here. So let's see if this is how far they're willing to go. Yeah, it looks like it. No, nope. turn it around. Seems like it wants to turn around there. But there's a big cushion, so... Hmm. It's at the 62 mark. So it went back up 25 cents from that. Hmm. What's going on here? I've been looking at the ask. There we go. And he been looking at that. That got stuck. I was looking at the ask realizing... And while I did that, it went the way we wanted it to go, and I didn't even see it happening because I was messing with the level two. So, yeah. Okay, so here we go. We got a fib. All right, so let's look out right here, guys. You got a fib, and you got the volume profile down there that's telling you that's it. We're going to push you back the other way. So let's watch out right here. That's 83.19. I'm getting ready to reverse here, guys. It's a nice big trade. I've got enough cushion where I'm just kind of hanging tight a minute. I'm looking at this, telling myself, like, that is a lot to change direction on right now. Um, it broke the fib. Wow. Is it going to break the volume profile? 
And there's our ATR low. So we definitely want to reverse off the ATR low. Get ready at the ATR low. So that's 82, 82.30. If it even gets down there, this is a lot. of It's punching through a lot of stuff here. There's the ATR. 36. What is it at? That's at 42. I'm going to reverse right there, guys. That was a nice trade. I'm going to reverse again and catch that as it went up. Oh, I lost money there, didn't I? Wasn't I over 2,000? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, wow. That was a, some serious slippage there. Um, I can't remember. I thought it was over 2,000. Maybe not. I'm short at 182.54 right now. It looked like it was going to break through the ATR, and I was waiting for it to just kind of consolidate around it and try. So I'm going to try to catch some little scalping here. Now, if it just springs back up, um, yeah, so why do I have two ATR? Why do I have two ATR lows? Yeah, I thought we were out of the ATR, so I am now really confused. This is the previous day, I think. This is not real. So, uh, I mean, it. it God darn it. 91 down to 84 it was a nine dollar it was a nine dollar average true range this is the actual atr so i don't know what that is that is not right that's not marked right so i've been calling this on an escalator strategy and it's not yet sorry guys this is your actual atr low based on what the uh, average true range was let's just double check that yeah it was roughly nine dollars right yeah so, uh, yeah, that's that messed up on that. Darn it. Okay. So this is seriously respected, which is, I, I was calling it that, but I just realized I had it already. So I think we're, we're okay to go long or short. Let's just consolidate around this and see what it's going to do. <laughs> well, I was holding that the right way. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? That's on the fib now. I'm going to I'm going to reverse on that fib guys and bank that money. That got me like 2500. You've got a double day, you got a 50% fib and you got a double day tap here. So let's let's just look there for just a second there. What a downward move suddenly, huh? And it broke the ATR, so um, it might not be done. And, of course, I tried to capture a short. God, it broke through both of those. Wow. That is surprising to me that that happened. So, um, Oh, my God. So I'm definitely holding it the wrong way. I'm going to take, take a loss here in a second. Is that going to come back? It doesn't look like it's going to come back. So is that going to spring back and help me? That is not looking good for me. I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out right there. So now it's coming back. God. So I lost like 300 bucks there. This is what I wanted it to do, but it's just the way that it was dropping here. I just started to look at that move. Can it recover and retrace upward here? Looks like it's trying. Darn it, I got out too soon, huh? Damn. Now I'm going the wrong way again. Yeah, you can't win them all, guys. I try. So we just, it's just look about every, every trade's a new trade. So I got a 750 max loss. Oh man, I really mistraded that one. I panicked there. I, I really thought that it, it, when it broke through those two, you know, I, I really thought that the support was over the FIB and those two. So I could be on the wrong end of this. It might be trying to retap up here, which would definitely put me over my max loss per trade anyway. So
just waiting for this to happen. You guys are doing good. You're in the bunch of you are long right here, so be careful. Going back down to where I was trading it, so I'm way down here in this area. Question is, do I want to get out? Or is it gonna it was this my chance to get out to go long right there? Might have been. I could have captured a, a short little, wow. I mean, I look at this here. This is a tweezer, and this is an engulfing. Both of these say, if you read this pattern, it's going to go up. So I'm on the wrong end of this. But these just kind of negated that by going down here. So, you know, this pattern right here said go up. So I was getting a little, my finger was getting a little twitchy here. Um, man, it broke through these again. So these days right here are not being respected. This fib is, and then this day is, but these are kind of useless right here. So I got to quit looking at those like they're, you just never know which lines are going to be, you know, which support and resistance are going to be um, respected here. Oh boy, it took a while just to get down to me. I'm calling that one wrong. Yeah, I know. I see definitely, definitely have a few of over three k. So I'm I'm quite a bit behind here. So one eighty seventy five ish could be support. This line it tapped twice, 180.72 or the three quarter, the quarter, three quarter dollar. Whoop, there it goes through. Waited a long time for it to get back down here, so I'm going to hold it. So if it breaks through that, then we got to look at the fib down there, the 61.8 fib. And the volume has dropped considerably here as the sellers are taking over. So something the sellers aren't quite as strong. There we go. Wow. Guys catching that move. Yep. Everybody's short right now. That's good. That is a great move. Wow. What's happening here? So all the way down to 178 maybe. That's the next uh, um, resistance or support, you want to call it. Yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm just going to hold this, guys. This is a... So look what it did just a minute ago over here. So there's a little bit of a pullback that I misplayed retracement here, and now it's really strong, like a knife here. So the 15 minute is just showing you straight down. So you play the trend right now. I'm just gonna sit back and play the trend right now after misjudging those scalps. So we got an $800 trade here now, broke 3K. I am gonna look at this as a potential reversal, but so 79, 179, it paused and then broke through it, paused and broke through it again. Yeah, so it's it's 179 is nothing, so. Now you got your next FIB there, 78.6, with a day right on it, right around 178 and a quarter. Not a lot of, uh, oop, a lot of pattern trading or scalping here going on because it's just going straight down. So we're just going to keep doing this until it tells us maybe we shouldn't. Look for another one of these retracements. Yeah, we are due for it, I'll tell you that. People are screaming, don't do it, just write it down, don't do it. 
And I go, I go crazy. I go against the trend all the time trying to catch that scalp, you know. So there it goes. Wow, I'm really glad I almost did it too. I was talking myself into it. Holy mackerel. Now we're getting down to the 10-day fibs. One of those is down here. Another fib here and another day here to break through. Somebody said earlier that uh, because I have I have today off that I didn't get out of my pajamas. This is not a pajama top. It's an actual shirt. <laughs> it's like, um, so yesterday I fell shy of the 5K. I'd really like to make it today. I mean, obviously I've had lots of days I was over 5K. So on average on the year, I'm way over 5K a day. But... Um, Just try to keep that goal if you can. My best scalping day was 25K, which you guys should have seen uh, live for the 40 minutes that it was. But then swing, I've had um, some better, uh, much better days than that. Um, but it doesn't matter what I make or don't make. It has nothing to do with me, the way you guys trade. So, wow, look at this. Um, it's how you trade that matters. My God. So that's a new low. That broke the fibs and everything here. So is 177 a, a place to go here? Or I can't even find this. It's so far off the charts here. This is a fantastic trade here. I really want to bank some of this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and reverse there, guys. Call me crazy. Oh, man, did you see me? Now you can really, really call me crazy. I am crazy. I was over 4K. I saw it slowing down here, and I was going for the, the – I was trying to get a short scalp in here. Um, and then I, I did think it was going to keep going down. I just didn't think it was going to go down quite then, right then. So so I'm hoping – I'm holding – oh, man. Oh, wow. So I'm at my, I'm at my max. Okay. So is it going to stay at my max there? Let me move this over. There's what I was looking for a minute ago. Instead, it wanted to give me a heart attack. Now I'm looking for it to get off these fibs again. And then I was looking for this pullback and I just miscalled it. Back to where I wanted to be. Wow, so it went through both of those. This could retrace the whole way. So this could be a big move upward. So hopefully you guys have reversed or have gone the other way. Volume's dropping with the buyers a little bit here. So look out. Another day broke through one fib. That's a stronger pullback than I thought was going to happen. I'm very happy with the fact that I caught this. So now we've got another fib and opening there. And this 178 uh, even is a possible point where it, it, it uh, stayed there a lot. So I'm probably, I'm calling 178 at this point right around there to reverse back and bank this money. 87, I'm going to take that, 91. So I got it at uh, 82, actually, which is, that was a bad slip. But I got, I got close to my goal here if I don't blow it, if it doesn't keep going up. The 15 minute is still showing it going straight down. So this is when you can lose perspective. 
So, you know, most people trading the longer term, which are more than us trading the shorter term, are still jumping in or doubling down for it to go down. So we can't get caught up in this. Uh, it's making a little bit of a bear flag, possibly. But um, let's see if that's, that's going to be helpful, if that's the case. For me, anyway, because I'm back on short. Yeah, so I picked it up here and was really getting hurt. And I think I got, I went over my max loss for a split second. Uh, I didn't get out. And then it, then it went right back up and made me look like a genius here. So, um, and that can happen. Had I, had I checked out of it, I probably would have got right back in and been in the same position I'm in now as far as money. I would have lost it and got it right back up on the way up. So, excuse me. I had orange juice this morning. I, like, never have orange juice. It's, like, fighting back on me. It's just uh, not feeling good about it. it tasted good. Yeah, so I'm looking for the 5K. What am I at? So I'm almost at my time anyway, guys. There's my there's my nut. I wanted to make 5K. It's a great way to end before the new year. I don't want to lose it. Oh, oh darn it. Come on. There you go. Let's go right back down to the fib. Man, it does look like it's going to go back up again, doesn't it? The volume drop with the sellers not making me feel good about holding. There it goes. Looking for the 176, even dollar to be a problem. Even dollar at 176, getting ready to cover if it stalls there. Wow, and all, all the way back up again. Looking at 176, looking for support at 176, or in this case, it's like feels like resistance as you're going down. If you're shorting going down, I caught up a couple of you guys. I'm in third place, right? Fourth place. Okay, fourth place. Yeah, that one that you guys thought I was crazy, including me, helped me out a lot. Yeah, the 15 minutes starting to turn green. I'm going to cover I'm covering there before I lose it all. <laughs> I want to keep above the one. Yeah, I'm going to sell again at 177. What did I get it at? Oh my god, did you see how much that slipped? Ouch. That was a big slip. That was a big slip from the market maker hurt me there bad. I was this was this was over it was like 177.10. I was looking at the ask, not the bid, but the spread wasn't that high. So now I could lose the five just because I, I, uh, I, I was trying to catch a quick scalp, and now I'm under the five. So not cool. Look at that, huh? Look at that. That is not quite a bull flag, but if you went from the candle body, it is. Um, which would mean it's going to go up, and it didn't, so. 
this has to be green for this to be a bull flag, which means I'm the wrong way. Nope, so it's not a bull flag. Now this is a tweezer move, which would again signify an up, the bottom of a ladder down, signify going up again. I'm in the wrong position for that. Man, it's just messing with me here, huh? I keep, I'm, I'm hovering over this watching my my PL for the day going like, I don't want it to drop below five again. I'm worried about the slippage if I cover that it could, you know, could slip $200 to be honest with you. So, um, so I'm just playing the numbers game here, trying to stay five at the end of the day, but hoping that maybe I can catch a bigger move here. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm past time. Wow. So I'm actually just asking for it. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Look at that. It's a nice little move at the end here just before I, I uh, cover. Here we go. Can I get six? Hits that fib. Is going to bounce on that fib and turn around. There's six. Look at that go. Six. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm glad I held out a little longer there. Look at that go, huh? Here we go. Everybody's short, I hope. No, I'm not going to I'm not going to let that come back up on me. Whew, I'm just going to call it there guys for me. $6,075. This could keep going down. I mean, I I just uh I'm just keep banking the money. It's kind of hard to call the way it pulled back, the way it's been pulling back, but it does definitely look like it's continuing to go down a little bit here. Yeah, there it goes. Just made another new low. So, guys, hopefully this type of trading is exciting and entertaining. Remember, if you like it, to subscribe and give a thumbs up. And there's lots of free custom scripts here, free layouts here. Go down where it says uh, show more information. Type in what you want to, you know, which video you want to watch, how to predict which way the market's going to go each day, you know, how to speed up your platform, uh, all the different strategies, the RV, the open, or in the archives, uh, how you get the perfect layouts, how you get the custom scripts. It's all on the channel. It's all free. Um, and like I said, hopefully, you know, you watch enough of the content and this type of trading will click. So you see how I called it. This is a little harder today. It might seem more random. You could have just stuck in the move all the way down and you could still be in it. And uh, I, I was definitely trying to get the most I could get by scalping off of these lines. But really... Not a lot of respect when it's in a downward trend. Now, when you're trading the escalator strategy, I also was confused by the mismarked a ATR. But this typically, to become the escalator strategy, you want a retracement to the ATR, then a drop off. Now, that could still happen today. The day is very young. And if that were to happen, ATR, that's why we don't see the, um, I mean, the escalator strategy. You don't see us trade that a real lot because I trade in the morning. Um, but often in the power hour, you can really see how the escalator strategy worked. That it, it taps on a retracement, and then it just flies the other direction. Um, and uh, that's where that comes into play. So this is more the escalator strategy, but it just hasn't – it's more just a downward trend, quite honestly. So that was the low. I can't remember what I got. I think I got out fairly close to that area. Uh, maybe I was up here, actually. Uh, yeah. Anyway, okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Be careful out there. Have a happy new year, and I will see you next week. Thanks.